So, my review for Saints Row is cooking, but I have to beat it first. And I almost didn't beat it, I almost dropped it. Said, nah, I'm not doing this, I'm not playing this. I was hyped for this, I'm looking forward to this. Big Saints Row fan, even if the game's, you know, a little questionable and they fell off, I still liked them. But this, this game wasn't it. I didn't like a lot of things about it. But I've made some changes, made some tweaks that I'll show you. And I'm, I'm feeling the game a lot more, so much more, so much more. So the first thing you want to change is the reticle. Um, there's still a crazy amount of bloom, but I still feel like you can be more accurate. It's not as distracting. So change it from default to a dot. I go through all the changes I think you should make, and I'll show you how to make them at the end. But I feel like this is just the definitive way to play and make an overall better experience. So you want to change the reticle first of all. That's the first thing you want to do. Turn off the dead zones. They're at the highest setting by default. I turn them down, I put them on zero or one. I don't think zero is possible. I reduce the size of the mini map because the mini map is way too big. I don't know I don't know why it's so big. It takes up like half the bottom of the screen. So I turned it down. It's more massive with it on small. The same reason I turn off the, the health bars for the enemies because I felt like that makes it more immersive too. So I turn off the health bars. So, so far we've turned off health bars. We've changed the reticle. We have reduced the mini map size. And then the turn off the dead zones too. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go into the difficulty settings. Now at first I'm like difficulty settings, adjusting it, I, I don't know. But there's no difficulty trophy anyway. So, you know, it's a bit unfortunate. But since there's no difficulty settings, I went into it like, yo, I'm going to play on the hardest difficulty. But then I was like, yo, I don't even like this game enough to be on the hardest difficulty. The gameplay, the shooting isn't hard enough or good enough to play on the hardest difficulty it's kind of trash so i was like you know what i'm gonna go in and make some adjustments and this made it so much better so i like ghost of tsushima where you die faster but you deal more damage so i changed it to that so i'm dealing more damage but i'm taking more damage too that's how i like it that's if you still want to challenge so the next thing i did was i turned the car difficulty down i put that on four four might be too low i might turn it up to five but I put it down to four because when you play on harder difficulties, it's just straight bumper cars with the ram feature. Like you can ram into a car, it does nothing. Like you play that opening mission where you rob the the little place, and it says, "Oh, ram this car, ram this car." And if you played on the highest difficulty, the boss setting like I did, you know that ram does nothing at all. So later on in the game, I was like, you know what? Let me go into these settings, and I dropped it down to a four. So if you're going at a high speed and you ram in someone, the car will blow up. I think, I think that's the way it should be. And there's so many car missions in this game, which are which is straight BS. So I changed that too. And those are the the key settings that I changed. Um, I know I have it in the gameplay right here, but I eventually turned it off too. But I turned off the navigation um on the floor. I was like, you know what? I don't need this for real. So I turned that off too. But you can keep that on. So basically, before I show you how to do it, the things I think you should do is change the reticle. You should reduce the minimap size. Um, take off the driving lines on the floor, but you can keep those on. That's not, that's not a big difference. Um, make some changes to the difficulty settings. Find, find that right balance for you. Uh, I'll show you how I've got it right now. Lower the car above everything else. So if you want to play on hard, you want to put it at 8, 9, or wherever, I still recommend putting the car difficulty on a 4 or 5 just because it fundamentally changes the mechanics of the car. So, and then I think that's about it. And and turn off the dead zones. And, 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 and one more thing. And I lowered the sensitivity in fine aim because, like I said, the aim in this, it was kind of, kind of sucks. And when you play with the, the dot, obviously it's a lot smaller. So, I mean, with the bloom in this game, you're never going to be too precise anyway. But, with the sensitivity turned down and with the dot reticle i found it way easier to get headshots so to change the reticle you want to go to options accessibility then visuals scroll down a little bit reticle settings and then change from fine aim reticle you want to change that from default to dot and then that should be that should be it for that one there. And then whilst you're in the options, accessibility, visuals menu, you want to change the minimap. It's just below the reticle settings. I recommend putting it at 0 0.85 because I felt that was that was the best. It was not too big, but not too small. 
still see everything going on. Just below that, you can turn off GPS like I did, and that's the purple arrows that appear on the floor and, you know, tell you turn left, turn right. I'm like, man, I don't need this. I turn that off. Because I turned the enemy health down, I also turned off the health bars because I'm like, I don't need this. The enemies, I still have a few bullet sponge enemies, but I don't need to see the health bar. Um, if that's not taking you out of the experience too much, I guess you could leave that on. But here's how you turn down the difficulty. So you want to go to options, gameplay, challenge options, and then just everything here. So danger level, I got mine at eight. I'm not dying too quick. Enemy durability at five because I still want room to upgrade my weapons. If I'm killing everything in one shot, then I don't need to upgrade my weapons. So I keep it at five still. Tough enemy frequency, I got it at 9, I'm actually going to turn this down to 7. That just is the guys with shields, they show up more often. Vehicle combat difficulty, you can see I got a 4 because I said the run feature actually kind of works. Variety 8, I don't mind if I kill a couple guys and that increases fast. Ammo scarcity, I got that at 6 because I was, I was taking too many trips to friendly fire, I had to turn that down. And then timed objective... I didn't have too much too much difficulty with this. I always felt like I had more than enough time, even at nine. So I left that where it was. And those are my, my recommended settings. And just go into the controller settings to adjust difficulty. Not difficulty, but to adjust your dead zones and sensitivity. And that should make the game more, more enjoyable. Overall, it did for me at least. And also, while I'm here... If you just got the game and you're not feeling it, I'd say play like five in the main missions and then give it a try. Because the first five story missions aren't bangers or anything. It just opens up the gameplay and opens up the open world more. It makes it feel less like a Ubisoft game. So I hope you enjoy the game a little bit more if you make any of these changes. If there's any changes that I missed that I should make, then let me know too. But I'm going to see you guys in there in the next video, which is probably the Saints Row review, so be on the lookout for that one. Yes, sir.